This is presented by HPS Trade, Japanese freight forwarder in Thailand. Hello, it's Eno. In this video, I would like to explain order of application of tariff rates using examples. First of all, tariff is simply explained as a tax paid on goods imported from a foreign country. Since it is a tax, pay is the country. In other words, tariffs ultimately become national revenue. Tariffs, like consumption tax and corporate tax, are a source of revenue for the government. And the taxes collected are used to pay for public services necessary for our daily lives. In addition, the tax on goods imported from abroad is adjusted so that there is not a large difference between the price of the imported and domestic. Tariffs are also a necessary policy to protect domestic industry. Normally, customs duties are paid by the importer or the forwarder, who is requested to clear customs at the time of import declaration. This is called a tax declaration, and in principle, an import permit will not be granted, unless the amount equivalent to the declared amount is paid. Here is an explanation of tariff rate on imported goods. Tariff rates are divided into six major categories. Roughly speaking, the following types are available. Basic tax rate. Temporary tax rate. Agreement tax rate. Preferential tax rates. Special preferential tax rates. Economic partnership agreement, EPA, tax rates. The types of tariff rates are explained in detail in a separate video, which is linked in the overview section. Please take a look if you are interested. In principle, the order of application of tariff rates is as follows. 1. Special Preferential Tax Rates, Economic Partnership Agreement, EPA, Tax Rates. 2. Preferential Tax Rate. 3. Temporary Tax Rate. 4. Agreement Tax Rate. 5. Basic Tax Rate. Agreement Tax Rate is applied when it is lower than basic or temporary tax rate. And basic or temporary tax rate is applied when they are the same as or lower than agreement tax rate. In the case of special preferential economic partnership agreement or preferential tax rates, free or a rate lower than the general rate is applied. On the importer side, it is desirable to apply the lowest possible tariff. However, in order to apply these preferential tariff rates, a certificate of origin proving that the product is of the target country's origin is required. The exporter must follow the procedures for issuing a certificate of origin, so be sure to have it sent to you by the time you declare imports. The rate of customs duty differs greatly between filing a certificate of origin and not. Be careful not to lose money in trade transactions. Let me take, as an example, tariff rate on the importation of infant gloves knitted from Indonesia. In this case, the importation into Japan is used as an example. There is a reason why I specify as knitted in this case. If the imported goods are garments, HS codes are divided into the following three categories. Chapter 61, Knitted and Crocheted. Chapter 62, Other than Knitted and Crocheted. Chapter 63, Used Clothing Items that are not new. HS code stands for Harmonize Commodity Description and Coding System and is a classification number assigned to goods handled in trade transactions. It is a unified system that enables a worldwide understanding of what the commodity is and plays an important role in facilitating imports and exports. HS code is explained in detail in a separate video, so if you are interested, please refer to the link in the overview section. In order to import goods, look up the HS code and applicable tariff rate in advance. If you look up the HS code for the infant gloves, in this example on the web tariff, you will find the following code number. The classification number is determined by the material and composition of the goods to be imported, whether they are intended for men or women, and other factors. If you have difficulty in classifying an item, do not make a judgment on your own, but consult with customs or your forwarder. Tariff Rates for Infant Gloves, HS Code 611120-1504 are as follows. Basic Tax Rate, 9%. Temporary Tax Rate, 7.4%.
special preferential tax rate, free. Economic Partnership Agreement, EPA, tax rate, free. In this case, since we import from Indonesia, EPA tax rate is applied. The key point is whether the goods are of Indonesian origin. 1. The goods are of Indonesian origin. 2. A certificate of origin is issued by the exporter. 3. Accepted by customs. If the above applies, economic partnership agreement tax rate was applied, and the duty is free. If the importer does not know that, EPA tax rate will be applied, temporary tax rates of 7.4% will be applied, resulting in a significant loss, for what should have been a tax-free shipment. However, such cases are often pointed out by customs or forwarders, at the time of import declaration. Let me take another example, of importing to Japan leather shoes. Leather shoes are known to have high tariffs, among various imported goods. Basically, tariff rate on leather shoes is, no more than 4,300 Japanese yen, about 35 US dollars per pair, or 30% of the product price, whichever is higher. The importation of leather shoes, is a commodity subject to the tariff quota system, but is omitted from this explanation. The tariff quota system is a system, under which tax-free or lower tariff rates, primary tariff rates, are applied to certain items, only within a certain import volume quota. For the portion exceeding this fixed import quantity, tariff rate higher than the primary tariff rate, secondary tariff rate, is applied to protect the domestic product. In this case, we import leather shoes, a product of Malaysian origin, from Malaysia. Tariff rate for the product, leather shoes, with HS code 64035901919 is as follows. Agreement tax rate, 30%, or 4,300 Japanese yen per pair, whichever is higher. Economic Partnership Agreement, EPA, tax rate, free, but some countries have tariff rates. When importing from Malaysia, EPA tax rate is applied and there is free. However, if a certificate of origin is not submitted, at the time of declaration, agreement tax rate will apply. Thus, the customer must pay 30% of the merchandise, or 4,300 Japanese yen per pair, whichever is higher. Since leather shoes have one of the highest tariff rates, among various items, it is advisable to understand tariff rates in advance when importing them. In this video, I introduced the order of application of tariff rates and its for two items, as examples. Although tariff rates may seem difficult at first glance, you only need to remember the six tariff rates introduced in this video. You can leave the complicated HS codes to us, the forwarders and customs. I hope this video will help you understand the basic rules of tariff rates, even if only roughly. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my channel, like it, and share on social media. That's all for this time. Thank you very much. In this channel, I explain about international logistic knowledge for your better understanding. I hope this video will be a good support for your logistic job. If you have any shipment from Thailand or to Thailand, please feel free to contact me Inosan anytime. Also, I'm very motivated to keep updating this video. If you subscribe, press good or comment anything. Well, thank you. See you next time.